Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Priska Jordan and I make videos for women who value their personal style over fashion. I started making videos a year ago on YouTube and my style has drastically changed. So I wanted to take a look back on that and show you what the evolution looked like day by day. This isn't a linear story. There were mountains and valleys, but like any good story, it begins with a whole lot of excitement. I published my first video on June 6th of last year, 6-6-22. Poetic, right? Summer content came easily for me because I recently moved from Florida and that was basically my year-round wardrobe. Sundresses, sunglasses, and sandals. However, my style was pretty basic and boring. I had some cute pieces, but I also had a cluttered closet, so I didn't really feel like spending a lot of time improving my outfits. But the positive feedback from my first few YouTube videos was just the momentum I needed to keep working on it and start teaching the lessons I already knew. Truth be told, I didn't see anyone creating videos for my type of style. Colorful, curve flattering, and flirty. What I mostly saw was classic, style, minimalism, and baggy clothes on straight frame bodies. This massive gap fueled my drive to keep making videos and honestly, it was still really hard. This was my third attempt at YouTube, but more on that later. Oh, my leg's asleep. <laughs> My first popular YouTube video was styling dresses for the rule of thirds and seeing the comments really energized me. This is how the rule of thirds applies to dresses. The first dress we have is a maxi and while I love the casual look of this, it's not very stylish. So I'm going to add a belt, which will help me apply the rule of thirds, creating a top one third and a bottom two thirds. Additionally, I can add a crop length jacket and keep that one third, two thirds going on. Secondly, we have a knee length dress, which doesn't even need anything because the top two thirds is the dress. And because I'm wearing sandals that show my feet, my legs and sandals create the bottom third. Thirdly, we have a mini dress and this is a one third top, one third middle, one third bottom situation and works just fine. Autumn began with a stirring of excitement for the new fashion season, but I swapped out my wardrobe way too early considering I live in the South and it's very hot here until Thanksgiving. So while I was making fall fashions and style videos, I was going out and dressing like it was still summer. My first purchase of the season was this burgundy silk slip dress from Quince, which I managed to wear for the fall I was actually experiencing until the weather finally cooled and I swapped my sandals for knee-high boots. So this is layering, I thought to myself. I played around with that dress and wore it through the winter too. My second noteworthy purchase was this other red dress from Farm Rio that I wore through the fall and in spring of this year. I really appreciate the level of versatility with most of my pieces. And this was my third fun purchase. This next jumpsuit is also from the kit New York City. I'll link it below. Um, this pattern is like what the inside of my brain looks like, I think. It's in the fall, I made a really helpful video on how to measure your body for flattering jeans. And it was so in depth, it really made me proud as a video maker. But I also learned the power of an eight second video that quickly delivers truth that can set women free from body shame. I have a public service announcement. A muffin top isn't real. Ta-da! Around that time is when things started to change. Throughout fall and winter, I battled some really dark and heavy emotions. Not only was the dreary weather affecting me, but I was struggling with some rather serious health issues that I don't really want to get into right here, but you can probably relate when your body is just not functioning the way it's supposed to. I struggled with being kind to my body, mostly in my thoughts. It was the first time I really felt like um, my body just let me down and I didn't deserve the way it was treating me. Now I look back and see that my dark outfits really reflected the sadness of my soul through that season. 
At one point, I put on my sparkliest dress and heels just to feel happy again, which worked for a day, but the real joy came through meditation, allowing all of my feelings to simply exist, and to be okay with not feeling okay sometimes. After months of pondering it all, I came out on the other side knowing that I don't control nearly as much as I think I do, but I influence more than I think I do. Treating my body with kindness and gentle care helped me to love myself most every day. A lot of times when my body isn't performing the way I want it to, either health-wise or just body image issues, I just try to ignore it for the day until I feel better about it. But I didn't want to just keep ignoring it or tolerating it even. I wanted to welcome it, value it, and let it be just like I try to do with my emotions. But after a long winter of short cold days, bare branch trees, and dark outfits, I really wasn't feeling like myself. I wasn't excited about much of anything. I wasn't feeling happy and hopeful. That's when my husband and I decided we needed to make a change, and that's when we sprung for a new adventure. I have the most exciting news that I've been sitting on for two weeks, and I can hardly contain it. But next week, my husband and I are going to Italy. And I've been wanting to go to Italy for over a decade. This is a dream trip for me. This is like a bucket list trip. I planned our trip and packed our bags, and even that was enough to make me excited about the future. I always find travel to be rejuvenating and electrifying. It's my favorite way to just get out of my own head and zoom out, see other people's perspectives, and come back home excited to create again. In Italy, the Renaissance art and architecture and stories and food invigorated me again and my soul felt happy and light. <laughs> Before I even returned, I started creating content. I think most of our 10 hour flight, I spent feverishly journaling all my thoughts and ideas and inspiration I had while I was in Italy. But before I could start producing those ideas, it was time for a new season in both my heart and my closet. I packed away my fall and winter clothes and unpacked all of my beautiful, vibrant, fun clothing that I missed so much those long few months. After the wardrobe swap, I began creating with joy again. I filmed some things just to try out new ideas, and most of that footage never saw the light of day, but I didn't feel like it was a waste because I was learning along the way and enjoying the process. I began playing again, dreaming again, remembering again. I didn't start this channel to show all the shiny new things you need every new season. I started this channel so women would be inspired to embrace their personal style, which is a reflection of your personality externally, and to start that process with what you already own. So instead of shopping for the new spring season, I started creating in my own closet. Creating brings me so much joy, but it's a need for me, not a want. If I don't create for just a few days, I cannot sleep. I need to write meaningful words, to film videos, and to make new outfits, anything I can do to create. But I found that creativity works best within limitations. I can't remember which author said this and which book I was reading, but they talked about how a musician doesn't get to create new notes, they have to work with the 12 that already exist. Likewise, I use mostly what I already have and pieces that I've owned for years and that fosters creativity. My springtime outfits really showed me that. My style began to thrive when I decided that my old clothes were good enough for me, they were good enough to make videos, and they're good enough to inspire you to create with the pieces you already have. Before I finish off this video, I want to take a look back on my many fumbles in my three attempts at trying to start a YouTube channel. This channel has had three names, three iterations, and only now in this version of it do I feel comfortable and confident to make videos into the future. 
However, I've gotten a number of comments from friends and family that I come across so natural on camera. And so I want to reveal the behind the scenes of the many hiccups along the way. And honestly, these hiccups still happen every video multiple times, but thankfully less frequently with practice. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to eliminate useless clutter from your closet and streamline your clothing down to the pieces that flatter you the most. Welcome to the 30s Guide to Life. Today's video is the 30s Guide to Fall in the South. In today's video, I'll be styling this garnet colored slip dress. Oh. Welcome to the 30s guide. In today's video, we are talking. <clears throat> Welcome to the 30s guide. My name is Prisca Jordan. In today's video, we are talking about the 2022 sandals. Welcome to the 30s guide. In today's video, we're talking about sandals. Okay. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new here. My I wanted to show you these bloopers so you can see the reality of what might seem like effortless monologues. And similarly, if you think my style is effortless, well, I can tell you it's definitely not. This is something I've really been focusing on for the past year, both my style and making videos. And with all that very intentional effort, it's come more natural to me, but it's definitely a skill and not some kind of gift that falls from the heavens. When I started this channel a year ago, I really didn't know if I could find my style or even have the audacity to try my third attempt at YouTube. But it's paid off, so I want to encourage you that whatever mountains you're facing, whatever growth opportunities that you're considering, that you can do whatever you set your mind to. The question isn't ability, it's strategy. How are you going to improve your style this next year? I want you to consider that if you're thinking about your style a lot, either consciously or subconsciously, and your style has changed but not really grown, then maybe you need a better strategy. I welcome you to watch my videos and take notes so that you can create your own style and learn to do it with the pieces you already own in your closet. And one year from today, you'll look back and see how drastically you've grown. Before I wrap up, I want to say a huge thank you from my heart to my subscribers for this past year. I know people say this all the time, but I couldn't do this without you. I really would not be making videos and working on my style if I didn't have an audience that appreciated it. So thank you so much for being here. Before you go on to the next video, please subscribe to my channel for a new style video every week. I'll see you next week, but until then, take care.